push. Craven, nose to tail. They are dead even coming down to the line. This is going to be close. They touch, they touch. Craven got in. What a finish. Take it to the edge and back. Test the limits of man and machine. Gordon got loose in Torbay. Get ready for NASCAR Thrills. One-on-one -on -one contact, uh, you know when the line's been crossed. All you see is ground sky, ground sky, ground sky. One left to go. And there goes Darrell Walter for the lead. Oh, oh look at that. No. Is he on the flat? On the last lap. Richard Petty goes back in front. They both spin. They're in the wall. Petty is sliding, slamming in the wall. a fight between Cale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. They know they have lost. is Brian Newman in the trioval crash. The car flips two, now three times. Oh, trouble. Elliot Sadler over once and a half. Oh, oh trouble. Steve Park is off into the infield. Terrible crash. from NASCAR Images. It's a mix of speed, of thrills, and unforgettable images from throughout NASCAR's amazing six-decade ride. It's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. NASCAR Thrills also goes beyond the racetrack to see how NASCAR and its teams pour as much effort into safety development as they do into the races themselves. So come along for the ride. The memories, the evolution, and get Real in 5.1 five, five point, 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 surround sound. It's NASCAR Thrill from NASCAR Images on DVD. For nearly six decades, no sport has enjoyed a more meteoric rise in popularity than NASCAR. Nearly every weekend from Valentine's Day through Thanksgiving, hundreds of thousands of fans jam the grandstands across the United States and millions more watch on television. The reason? They just may witness a special moment like this one. Photo finishes. Getting physical here at Darlington Raceway like it's supposed to be. Craven has another shot, but only one. The white flag out. This time, Kurt Busch leads by inches back to turn one. The gloves are off. Craven is there in turn one. Half a car length back. Busch drifts high. Craven unable to make a move. Then remains single file. Craven down to the inside. Here they come off turn two, racing for the lead and the win. The crowd on the back straightaway is just going delirious. Bush, Craven, nose to tail. Here comes Craven up top. Bush goes up the block. Here comes Craven down to the bottom, trying to hang on. Both cars are loose in four. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag race. Wow. They touch, they touch. Craven got him. Craven got him. Craven got him. All right. What a finish. The goal for every NASCAR driver is simple to make it to this line before anyone else does. Now, some races are won by several car lengths, others are won by several feet. But when Ricky Craven out Kurt Busch at Darlington in 2003, the difference was measured by several digits to the right of the decimal point. Catching them's one thing, passing them is another. Come on, baby, come on. Side by side, two laps to go. Somebody's got to give, get into turn one. The pressure was on. Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch, side by side, they bump. The two laps to go, it was about one more opportunity. Busch brushes the wall. He bumped me hard enough to slide 
up into the fence. I hit the fence, he hit me. They bounce off each other. If we added one little extra element, we both would have spun. Craven has the lead. Bush bumps him. One of those situations where maybe I can make my car as wide as I can for a couple laps and see what happens. Craven to the outside and push. Back underneath, regains the top spot. Now here comes Ricky Craven trying to regain that lost ground. Bush back to the lead on the back straightaway. Bumped him back to repay him for the, the bump he gave me, and now I was back in the lead. Ricky Craven in hot pursuit, pedal to the metal, and Dave Laney joins this battle. Here's Bush, two car lengths out in front. Here comes Craven again, using the high lane on the move in four. Played in my strength, which at that time, the tide car was so good off of turn four. Getting physical here at Darlington Raceway like it's supposed to be. Craven has another shot, but only one. We both knew we were going to engage in a battle of who's going to be able to win this thing. Craven pours all the steam, pulls to the inside lane. They are dead even coming down to the line. This is going to be close. They lean on one another. Across the line, Ricky Craven gets the win, and they continue the crash headed up into turn one. The adrenaline was flowing, the, the, just the pumped feeling that you get of having it all on your shoulders at the end of a race, the pressure, and being able to perform. It was the equivalent of the last second shot in basketball. It was the equivalent of sticking the ball in the end zone. That's what any driver wants, and that's what any kid dreams about, is being in position, let's say the bottom of the ninth, or catching that football in the end zone, getting both feet inbounds and scoring a winning touchdown. It's all about hitting it out. It's all about hitting it out. I'm not interested in a base hit. I'm not interested in a double. I'm, uh, I'm swinging for the fence. That race represents something really special. Hey, sorry, we got that crazy. No you got some of got a zoom That's the way it goes. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sorry that, that we got wrecked race cars. Oh. I, was out of, I had no power steering. Right? Keep really? Yeah, it was gone. I really didn't think I had a shot. I came off the turn four and you got some wheels. I got a back in the next one. Yeah, it's opened up. Thank you. Oh, we raced each other way. It was awesome. Two years earlier, rookie Kevin Harvick came to Atlanta, making just his third career NASCAR Cup start. Jeff Gordon was making his 259th start. After 499 miles of racing, they found themselves in the same place at the same time. Gordon's going to make the big move on the inside when they get down here to turn three. Awesome. Slow car might be in the way. Here he comes. He's going to drive it to the bottom. Oh, Harvick's leaving a lot of bottom. Ah, oh, this slow car. Slow car. Slow car is going to be in the way. Just like a year ago, he's going to get him, though. Here he's going to get him. Gordon got loose. It's Harvick. Harvick by inches. inches. Harvick by inches. Harvick by inches. What a race. What a finish. Harvick beat Gordon by six thousandths of a second. At Talladega in 1993, the margin was even closer. This is the battle for the lead on the very last lap. Jarrett falls in behind Irvin and Kyle Petty falls in line behind Earnhardt. Jarrett falls off of Irvin. It's Earnhardt and Irvin coming up on lap traffic. It's a dead heat at the end of the back straightaway. Ernie Irvin to the bottom of the racetrack. Now it thins out to two by two. It's Irvin to the inside. Up high is Dale Earnhardt. Lap traffic ahead. Ernie Irvin with maybe a foot on Dale Earnhardt off the corner. Side by side for the lead of the diehard 500. Here comes Mark Martin. He'll try and tuck it right behind Ernie Irvin, but it's going to be Irvin and Earnhardt settling it. Irvin goes to the low side of the racetrack. Earnhardt force high. Here they come to the stripe. It's going to be a dead heat at the line. Earnhardt by about two inches. It looked as though Earnhardt by about an inch and a half or two, if that much. Earnhardt's win over Ernie Irvin was less than five one thousandths of a second. A tick quicker than Harvick's win over Gordon. Well, actually less than a tick. Now, how does NASCAR make such microscopic measurements with radio transponders that record the very...